When you see this zinnia in people's aquariums, you'll always notice that there are lots of small individual umbrellas, not umbrella uh, type of zinnia, and it doesn't spread like some of the creeping zinnias. It just makes beautiful little babies right beside it. The first thing you do is you get a bowl of salt water. I usually use a mother tank that the corals are coming from. It just absolutely makes them not go through any more stress than is necessary. Then you find yourself a scissors. And then the next thing that's so important is you have to have the corals to cut. So we're going to go right into the main tank and we're going to start cutting the zinnias. I'll show you animal by animal, by animal as we go through this. Hi, this is Sally Jo, and this is my cutting bowl so far. You can see the German anthelias and the silver tips all right here in the bowl, just waiting for me to cut them and put them on a plug so that they can go to a new home. There's even a starfish. Won't be long before this bowl is completely full, and I'll have to stop cutting, and I'll have to start putting them on plugs. Now I've cut several of the zinnias out of the 125 gallon reef tank. There's everything from the Smithsonian to the belly to the silver tip to the Red Sea to the Smithsonian. The only one that's not in here right now is the pom pom zinnia and that one I have in a whole different tank and I'm propagating that one separately. One thing that I try and do is keep the heads in different areas so I can tell them apart because sometimes when you cut them they all start looking the same. Um, another thing that's really important Another trick would be to change color, use different color netting. This is a netting that I use to attach all the zinnias. I cut them in circles and then I put it over the plug and then I rubber band the netting to the plug and I'll show you that process as we go along. These are the heads of the zinnias I'm going to work with right now. It'll make a lot of cutting. So The first one I took and cut is the German Anthelia. And lo and behold, right underneath it was some big giant Palithoa. What a gift! Great idea to give it a haircut to find new corals. Next one we're going to do is a silver tip. We're going to just go and we're going to cut the heads off of some of these stalks and we're going to make room and who knows what we'll see underneath it, just like we did with this German Anthelia. Did the tremendous haircut in the 125. You can see how I cut all the silver tip off of there, the stalks. And you'll see that the pulps will start growing on those stalks. Here's the anthelia that I cut. Here's some Red Sea. There's some Smithsonian, some Bally. You can't even tell where I made all the cuts at. And this is the first Xenia baby cutting that's going to go into the tank for grow out and then removing the netting in about two weeks. And the reason why I say I don't want the Xenia to go through the holes of the netting is because then you lose it to the pumps, the power heads, and, and so on. And this way I definitely have control over where the, the baby stays and that it really does attach. Um, there's different sizes of nettings that you can use to actually do smaller cuttings. I just don't think there's enough air that goes through it to keep it really healthy. So this is the size I like of the Bridal Veil netting. This is the size of the cutting I like. And another thing to consider is how fast do you need to make the babies. If the babies need to be made in two weeks, then you make them bigger. If they need to be made, it doesn't matter when they're made, then you can make them smaller. It just really... You have to have a tank ready for them in order to grow them out. And here are the babies I made about two weeks ago and then I'm going to start putting all the new propagated babies in here and in about two weeks I take the netting off and they're ready to go. And these are all the baby corals I made this week. Right here are all the netted zinnias that I made yesterday. And these zinnias I actually moved, there's some zinnias and anthelias I just moved into this tank 
after taking the netting off of. And they'll be ready to go out to our customers very, very shortly.